here you have the sun, and here you have the moon. Right in front of it. We've got it figured out. We've got a nice trick. It might look a little weird, but it works. We're at the final step of our travel day, headed to Arkansas. Cody's going to refuel. We're going to refuel. This is our last strategic fuel stop. We only have about a quarter tank down, but this will make sure we can get all the way there without having to stop for fuel again. Hopefully we have no more unexpected delays or interruptions and we can rock this thing in, shut her down about midday. And it's a lot less eventful than the first part of our travel day. Well, we have driven 651 miles since yesterday and we are only three miles away from our landing spot. And that's our little private spot here in central Arkansas that we've had for a little over 10 years. We bought it way back when, thinking someday we'll build a lake house here. And, you know, that's probably a retirement thing someday way down the road. But we've kind of got it quasi fixed up for the RV. But as you're going to see, the road is extremely narrow. And trying to back in off of that road with our rig is just almost impossible. But we've got it figured out. We've got a nice trick. It might look a little weird, but it works. work. It's all about the process. Alright, now go to the bathroom. You stay close, baby. Bear. Mr. Chucky. Good girl peepees. So this is our property for those of you who haven't seen it before down here in central Arkansas. It is beautiful yet unrefined. About all we've done to make this thing usable at our, or RV friendly is we did put a septic tank in last fall that we've dumped in one time and we've cut some trees to clear things out and keep things pretty. It's about time to burn the lot off. I won't be able to get to that on this trip, but we do love it down here. I think this would be a great place to try our new boondocking trick that we mentioned a couple episodes back. If you guys haven't seen that, we'll go ahead and drop a link to that video in the description of this video. Ultimately, what we're gonna do is use a 50 amp to 110 dog bone, and we're just gonna run our power cord to our inverter. Now that's gonna give power to all the 110 appliances in the house, including the AC. Obviously, if we turn the AC on, it's gonna pop the fuse on the inverter. So we do have to be kind of careful. We've kind of been planning to do this since we knew we were coming down here. The challenge is we did an overnight last night and had to run the furnace a lot. So by the time we got here today and pushed the slides out and everything else, we're only about 80% battery, but we've always got a backup generator if we need one. Luckily the sky's cleared out. Maybe we'll get some sun today. We don't have a lot of good solar options here. Pretty heavy tree coverage, but back here on the pad, it's kind of clear. So we've got the slides out and the vents open. It's a little sticky and humid, but it's gonna be a good trip. Leave it. I'm just gonna make sure the inverter's switched off, which it is. Grab my 50 amp twist to 
110 adapter. I've got a little heavier duty than average yellow extension cord here I'm going to use. So we're just going to run this up through my port. Take it over here to the inverter. I don't have the inverter powered on yet, just like if you go to a campground and you're using a shore power, you always want to leave that breaker off until everything's hooked up. Of course, that's after you've already hooked your surge protector into the 50 amp power plug and check to make sure everything's good. So we're just going to twist lock this thing in here. And if you guys are interested in any of our adapters or cords or the inverter we run or the batteries we run or anything like that, that's all in our Amazon store. So be sure and check that out because we've got a lot of good stuff in there and a lot of good resources for you guys. Even if you don't go the same route or the same brands that we did, it'll at least point you in the right direction. So now that we got this hooked up, we're just going to walk around, hit the switch on our inverter, and see how it goes. I almost missed an important step. I forgot to turn the converter breaker off so that our battery isn't trying to charge our battery. I'm going to go do that real quick. Then we'll fire it up. I went inside and turned the breaker off for the RV power converter, which takes your 110 or your shore power and converts it into 12 volt to charge the battery. Obviously, we don't have that and we don't need to create a loop with the battery trying to charge itself. While I was in there, I went ahead and turned off the breakers for the air conditioners just in case we wake up in the middle of the night and start fiddling with the thermostat. I just don't want to run any risk of maybe damaging the inverter. I think it would trip its own breaker. Turn the energy on. Heard the beep. And just like that, we should have power to all of our 110 electrical outlets so we can watch TV, we can charge our phones, charge our laptops, all that good stuff. I'm a little bummed that we're only at 80% power. We'll just see how it goes. I'll probably get the little generator out and just have it ready in case I need it. And it's eclipse day. I tried my little boondocking setup last night. It worked great. However, I didn't even attempt to save battery. So we had the laptop charging. We had Milwaukee batteries charging because we had a bunch of dead ones. We had lights and fans. I even had my little outdoor mini fridge running. We watched some basketball on the TV. We taxed the battery. When I woke up this morning, I didn't have any 110 power at all, but all my 12 volt stuff was still working. And I had a yellow and green indicator on my power inverter. I'm not sure what was going on with that. Every time I'd reset it, it would go back to yellow and green. So I'm not sure if it was a voltage issue or maybe I really ran that battery down, but I ended up having to kick the little generator on this morning just to recharge everything and get the 110s going again. I don't have any concerns that we could easily go 24 hours, especially if we decided to ration energy just a little bit unplugging the mini fridge probably would have been a big help this is all one big learning process and i've learned that i definitely need to unplug the little outdoor mini fridge if we're going to boondock for any extended period of time so with that said i'm going to go ahead and gas up the generator fire it back up and we're going to get ready to go watch the eclipse we have a friend that has offered to have us over for some venison burgers and take us out to our spot lucy you ready to go watch you go watch the eclipse lose. If you're worried about the car traffic and finding a place to park, we'll just take this and park right by the marina slip. Loose. She's like, you smell like a venison burger. That I didn't get a single bite of. She didn't. So today, what we're <laughs> gonna experience. Here you have the sun, and here you have the moon, and it's gonna pass right in front of it. We're gonna get mooned, is that what you're saying? <laughs> and the distance determines how long it lasts. There you go. The more you know.
This is more like it. 80 degrees, eclipse day, I got the day off. Life is good. Had this genius idea, nobody else would think about coming out on the boat. So we have experienced totality. 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 This is wild. You can see it's all the planes. You're right. Yeah. That's wild. And soon wow. the sun's going to rise. Oh, that's crazy how quick that comes back. And there's just a sliver of it. Eclipse 24 in the books. All hooked up. We're gonna come right up here to our septic and dump, and then we're on the road. Somebody needs to mow here around the dump station. It's pretty grown up. That's somebody. Some Well, the eclipse was pretty great. I was a little bit skeptical, just to be honest. I didn't see what the big deal was. Would I still drive all the way across the country to see it? Eh, probably not. But it was really cool to see. It was amazing, actually. I'm sure our video doesn't do it justice, but we'll find out here soon enough when you guys do. But for now, we are back to our friend's ranch. We're gonna pull in here and get this thing set up. We got some storms coming, so. I got to get all this stuff set up here in the next couple of hours. We're going to turn it in for the night and we will see you guys tomorrow. We are loving our snap pads. We've had them on dirt, mud, grass, gravel, concrete, everything. It's not necessarily a replacement for blocks, but so far we haven't had to add anything to it. They've just helped with the surface area and they look cleaner <laughs> than the blocks. So far so good on these. We're pretty happy with them. They are running a special right now. They have a $100,000 plus giveaway going on. So if you've been thinking about getting some, we'll have the description down in the link for you and make sure you get entered to win their travel trailer or $100,000 cash prize and get you a little extra bonus. Today is a good day. Even though it's cloudy and kind of rainy, it's Angela's birthday. So now that I'm off work, she gets to go do whatever she wants to do because it's her birthday. Now, back up 10 or 15 years ago, and we celebrated for like 
a week straight and back up a little farther and we celebrated for like a month straight and the general answer to anything she wanted was but it's my birthday my birthday week my birthday month so she has toned it down a little bit so what do you want to do tonight it's my last year in my 30s so i wanted to go resell shopping which we did got a whole bag of stuff for 50 bucks that's right i hate clothes shopping hate clothes shopping but i can bear it a little better when it's cheap <laughs> and see i'm not the only one that's cheap <laughs> i'm probably worse than cody i just like to tease him because when he's cheap he's really cheap and when i actually want to buy something hit something big generally <laughs> this is true and then of course the way to my heart food some sushi but we're some pretty loose clothing stretchy stuff because we don't play when it comes to sushi. There's no playing. We have two fortune cookies. Pick your fortune. You know that one? Plan to be spontaneous tomorrow. Oh, I do. I do, Cookie. Present your best ideas today to an eager and welcoming audience. That's you guys. Lucky you. There well, you what's your best idea? Today, survive work and eat sushi. That was my best idea today. And do something for me. Yeah. You should live every day like that. With age comes wisdom. And since I'm wiser, I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen because I already know. I'm gonna pretend like this leftover sushi is gonna make it home and go put on some sweatpants and loose clothes because it's my birthday. And then I'm gonna eat some more sushi. <laughs> Sounds like a good night. <laughs> The good news is most of the sushi made at home last night. I did have my breakfast sushi, which is my second favorite sushi. I was able to spend a little time with my parents. This is such a short trip. We're trying to get in all of our seeing. I'm on my way to go pick some garden vegetables because there's a neighbor that has an abundance of some certain, certain things. And that's what people do here. They share. There's a store that goes out of business. People buy a whole bunch if they think that their neighbors may use them and they go distribute them. And that's normal for Cody and I. We grew up with that. Just generous people and you help your neighbors and everyone shares. Is that normal for your community or is that an anomaly? Our last night in Arkansas, before we hit the road. So we're gonna have a little cookout. We've had some good family time. Got to play with nieces and nephews and dogs. We've seen a lot of calves being born on this ranch as we come and go. There's one in particular, if you remember, I believe back in September and there was potential problems and then she had the calf down in the creek bed and we had to push her out because it was supposed to storm and it was this whole thing in an effort to get her pushed out of the creek bed with the baby she disappeared <laughs> it's pitch black out here and we do have the baby on higher ground we're just trying to find mama and get them back together for the night because it is supposed to storm here in about an hour Here's your first newborn baby calf. This is the kind of stuff that's worth staying up late for. But that was my first experience of right up close to a baby calf. Our host is always so gracious when we ask to take us out where we can see the cows. So we wanted to go out and visit that calf again.
All right, guys, that wraps it up for this week. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you guys on the highway. Now that the eclipse is over, we're going to load this thing up, head a couple hours down the road, go see some family. Well, it'd help if the door was unlocked. Oh, I, th I was reading the wrong side of it. <laughs> Cody can't figure out a fortune cookie. <laughs> and then we eat some more sushi. <laughs> and then we complain tomorrow about how fat I am. <laughs> Sounds like a good night. <laughs> Why was a cake hard as a rock? It was marble cake. What? <laughs> What's a marble cake? What? What are you talking about? You know what a marble cake is? The swirl, right? Did you seriously not know what a marble cake is? Baby, I don't bake cakes, I cook steaks. Oh, that's, uh, that's a t-shirt. Let me know in the comments if you guys want that on a t-shirt. I don't bake cakes, I cook steaks. Your mom would be very disappointed in you right now. She can cook, I can't. But we did, in fairness, order three rolls each and a side of fried rice. I, I, I think we over-ordered, but we didn't overeat, if that that's makes sense. That's normal for us, though. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. And we, what does a clam do on its birthday? It celebrates. I was about to say, what does a clam do any other time? <laughs> it lays on the bottom of the ocean and makes pearls. That sounds amazing.